Hello everyone and this is Cameron and today I'm going to give you a more in-depth analysis of the new Transformers The Last Night trailer. You know, now I've had my time to really watch the trailer over and over, you know, I sort of, you know, I'm picking up more things and more speculation on what actually is this film about um, because many people don't really know what the plot is, there's been leaks but no one really knows and I just hope that the film knows what the plot is itself. So. Let's just speculate for now. So the opening part, uh, we got the three-headed dragon, and uh, some people think this could be Megatron. I'm on the offense about that because just by looking at Megatron's design, by what we've seen him, it just looks very unlikely. Unless there's a lot of mass shift going around, I just don't believe that this could be Megatron. It, it just seems way too big of a character for Megatron. Uh, I don't know. Of course, this is obviously um, back in the past because we've got a guy on a horse at the far corner there so this obviously must be related to medieval times maybe they were actually very familiar with these transformers and maybe they had some sort of control over these or something and um, that's the vibe i'm getting and um, but and the next shot here this is one particular thing i wanted to talk about the whole look of this in the beginning like by far what i've seen in the trailer almost every location is deserted it looks like a post-apocalyptic world and yes we got in the back some cities and stuff but it feels like the world is sort of divided and there's a lot of torn places like the like the war of the Autobots and Decepticons still reigned in a lot of places and because it's not really robots in disguise anymore if they're just willing to blow stuff up and I don't know it just looks like the Transformers are more open and you know with the battles and everything it's they're not really keeping it a secret I mean the movies so far the Transformers battles haven't really been kept secret they've been very open they've attacked a city and they've been in Egypt and they've attacked an entire Chicago and now they attack China and now well it's pretty much common now to spot Transformers, I guess. So that's the vibe I'm getting. Right here, we've got a Goonies sort of type scenario. It'll, the story in the beginning will probably be the kids, you know, discovering these Autobots and stuff like that. And this is one thing I want to talk about here, this Autobot. Some people think it could be Hot Rod, like in the Cybertronian form or something like that. And it could be the case, it could be him, and then obviously he gets the amazing upgrade, and, you know, that we see him. Um, but I don't know, I, it doesn't look like it could be Hot Rod, just because of the face plane, it doesn't really match up, but hey, uh, anything could happen, I guess, like an upgrade, so uh, it could be him, it could be him indeed, so, I don't know, uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but looking at the design, exactly, it's nothing like any other character as I remember, um, but uh, hey, if it is Hot Rod, then it'll be cool to see that transition for him to, well basically it could be like junk and turn into something you know awesome and cool so i don't know about that there but uh, yeah this part here i believe this this looks like it's in the water because of the two um, vehicles we see they're, they're very clearly submarines they're going down on this so maybe they discovered something like deep in the ocean or something so yeah this is just like a little tease of what's supposed to be happening like the big main center of what ever is going to be attacking um, i'm not really sure on anything at all really i'm just really speculating but this part here this was a moment where the trailer really started to get my attention it was optimus prime in space and there we can see jupiter there in the background and what i've been getting the vibe that people have been saying oh maybe he did get to the creators and maybe ran out of energy on but i don't know this is what i'm thinking optimus prime was out you know very set in stone for you know if maybe he did find the creators and maybe he was taken down very easily and just scattered across the universe and maybe they something hatches within him and maybe the dark energon clicks or maybe just on his travels he just really run out of energon but i doubt it because it's optimus prime and um, he must have gotten captured or something for him to be in this state i mean you know just looking at him you can tell he's been in space for a long time in fact he looks dead he looks offline and um, because you know it, it, there's no eye popping or anything he's completely just going across space so i don't know maybe he did encounter the current sons or the creators or whatever something happened to him and they just let him lay out for him to hatch into evil prime or something like that i'm not really sure but very good visuals there that's really pretty well and i know what you may be thinking to this shot unicron or something like that just because of a horn but i doubt it it's anything unicron related at all uh it must be like megatron's sort of ship or something i'm getting that vibe that this could be sort of where Megatron's hiding at or something, that's his sort of location and maybe he discovered something that did give him the upgrade, you know, that we see him now in the night form. So I'm not really sure about that, as again, this trailer is clearly, as it says, a teaser trailer. 
Um, but yeah, here we go. We've got um, Squeaks here with Isabella Mona. Um, so it looks like she's ready to say goodbye to him or something, or something's going to happen. Um, of course, we don't get a close... Uh, well, we get a close look at um, Squeaks, but we don't actually see him full shot. So this could be probably an emotional part in the film where maybe he dies or something, or maybe... She has to leave him behind, uh, or something like that, because she looks very, you know, she looks dirty, you know, she's got dirt on her face, so an explosion has probably happened nearby, if I know Michael Bay. And this part here, this just goes more into the whole post-apocalyptic world, you know, this is where Kay Jager's at, he's got long hair now, so he's probably been out for a while, you know, and he's probably rogue or something, I don't really sure, but people have, you know, obviously want him, because obviously he's being stopped. Or unless if he's just supposed to be not in that area in general. But who knows what's actually going to be happening with Cade. You know, at some point, while well, he's obviously going to meet Isabella Mona. But who knows. And uh, this part here, that, as I joked, this looked like Govatron from the GoBot series. But this, um, people think it's Unicron. And I highly doubt it. Just because if you look very closely, it is very much like Cybertron. But just sort of, dis you know, sort of separated. Sort of, you know, it's... a. Uh, leeching out and so you know it's like the core of it is sort of dispersing and Cybertron's probably more of an organic life planet than it actually is sort of you know robotic uh, by looking at it it seems to be really stretching out and sort of leeching onto something to bring it to life or something like I don't know maybe Cybertron or the Quintessons or the creators whatever um, they've decided to tamper with Cybertron or something to re-give it life because well, we didn't really know if Cybertron was actually destroyed in Dark of the Moon because it sort of just twirled into sort of a little sinkhole and we didn't know if that would have been the sort of devastation state of it all being destroyed. But even if it is Unicron, I really don't want it to be just because it's probably a bit too early to bring Unicron in it. A tease at least, but I don't think this is Unicron at all just because the signature horns, where are they? You know, it's... If they're going to stay true, I, and I really do believe for Unicron, they would want to stay true to his original design. I just don't think it's the case. But going on from that, it does make its way to Earth because as we see here, a cash shot here. We've got Josh the Hammer and then we've got Laura Haddock and Mark Warburg there, a cash shot. Now Isabella Mona, which I'm probably, you know, it's logical because of the whole situation that's going off. And this seems to be making its way down to Earth, so maybe... You know, because we know in Transformers Law that Earth and Cybertron are very much linked. And in the fourth film, saying that they used Earth things to create the Transformers in the first place, there's obviously something within Earth that is, you know, which brings probably Cybertron back to life or something like that. And as we're seeing here, it's very much another world ending scenario, and the Transformers obviously have to save them. And by looking at it, it just looks like floating islands or something like that. So, moving on forth, though, we're getting into action now. This, uh, as I said again, it feels like a post apocalyptic world because it's very destroyed area. We've got these robots, uh, they must be looking for Transformers. So, obviously, we've got another evil organization, probably by Sir Anthony Hopkins, looking for these Transformers. But it's okay because Bumblebee bursts out, typical Michael Bay, and just destroys it as expected. And looking at Bumblebee's design, it looks very true to the Dark of the Moon design, which I really do like. I did prefer that version of War. Actually, no, I prefer the second movie, Bumblebee, actually. But it was okay in the third one. The fourth one was a little bit too... I don't know, I feel like it was over-exaggerated a bit. Like, it was hardly recognisable as Bumblebee. But either way, looks really nice here. He's got his cannon back. Really good. I really did like that cannon choice for Bumblebee. Um, but moving on there, we got Cade, who seems to have some Cybertronian tech. Um, probably been tampering with that, you know. Uh, but that's a good shot there, you know, with a gun and everything. But moving on, here we go. We got some more action here. Now, I don't know how this explosion makes sense to the scenario that's happening in the back. Um, we got a baby crate there We're in the front. Don't know what I'm doing there at all. Um, but we've got Mark, obviously rescuing Isabella maybe she got trapped there or something but looking at the designs actually the one on the far right does look like that double shockwave head design again actually by looking at it it kind of looks like Megatron I know it's probably not but just because of the two um, side panels he's got on the front so maybe it is or maybe it's just one of Megatron's warriors or something like that on the side though on the far left I really can't make out what that green thing is on the back on the far left we've got a one-eyed transformer but hopefully these aren't just dummy drones you know they obviously have more personality but if they probably don't they're probably just there for destruction but 
who knows, but uh, they do look very cool. The designs look very good um, by what I'm seeing so far. It's a far shot, but still looks very good. But here we go. Yes, I thought this could have been Bumblebee at first, but it is obviously Megatron with the cannon and everything. Just by looking at the design again, I was like, oh yeah, now, how could I miss that? But yeah, this is Megatron, and he's got more probably armor to him at the back. Either that's a sword or a rifle. Actually, no, yeah, that's a part of his weapon um, as well, just to remember. And, um, but yeah, his cannon there, good looking cannon. Just like the original Megatron, it's good to have some traits we pop in. Um, that's pretty much all there is to the original Megatron. Out oh, and he's silver. Um, but uh, by looking at it, by what I'm seeing so far, really looks good. Um, I'm really interested to see how they do the whole Galvatron Megatron switch. Um, hopefully that is answered in the movie. Of course, this is a teaser trailer, so don't be expecting plot details too much. But this part here, what I can gather, this is like the final sort of battle, and um, the humans are having a bigger role in it or something um, I hope um, that Transformers obviously get their final action to themselves it's always nice having the humans obviously to save them but let's focus the action on just the Transformers but either way you know obviously it is a big threat this time well just like the rest of the movies so obviously you gotta bring the military involved and who better yet than Lennox and this is one thing I want to mention here about Lennox he, that's clearly him that is Josh Dumhow he is meeting Megatron and you gotta remember that this for a sec Except from Transformers, he's the only human character who, well, he hasn't met Megatron, not like Carly in Dark of the Moon, but he has always been in battle with Megatron, you know, obviously versing him each time, except from the fourth movie. So it's really interesting to see why he is he meeting with Megatron, and this is what I'm thinking. They may need Megatron's help or something because maybe he has a bigger beef with the Quintessons Megatron. So it really doesn't make sense at first. Like, yeah, wait, why is uh, Lennox meeting with Megatron? Maybe he's the only one who can, well, at least he thinks he can get on Megatron's side and ask for his help because maybe something's happened with Prime. And if we know Megatron's ego enough, it's only him who wants to kill Prime. No one else should do the bidding for him. Um, so maybe he will help the humans in some way, but of course expect it to be very brief But by just looking at the design as we see him he's clearly big You know he could clearly squash him But he hasn't you know because if he wanted to kill him he would have landed that sword on him, but he didn't and um, so yeah, it, it looks like it's just him by himself. So, well, actually, there's a shadow there, but I don't know what that could be. But by him just sort of playing with Megatron, asking for his help or something, that clearly must be the case. Whether or not Megatron decides to help, that's the mystery. But still, that would be a really good confrontation scene of um, them two characters who have really been in it since the beginning. So, that'd all be neat. And here we go. We got no more speculation, really. Just... We got up to his prime here. Now, I figured this could be before the Nemesis Prime, but I'm actually thinking it could be after um, he is possessed and he finally takes charge of himself and knocks down whoever did it to him. So, yeah, because as we can see from around him, he's very torn up. And then when we have a look at the next shot, he's He's not really torn up, he's very kind of bright actually to say he's purple and you know he's evil all of a sudden. So maybe um, Bumblebee gives him a good beating or something sinks out of him and then he's finally, you know, he's mad of what... Because Optimus Prime, it's, he's not really having a good day recently. I feel like the past few years of Optimus, he's been really weak and this is just more of a kick in the crotch of, okay, People aren't really going to have a good image of Optimus if he's evil and he's going around killing people and stuff. Because I can only imagine that's what Optimus Prime has done without knowing intentionally. Because obviously he's under control, Nemesis Prime or whatever. Um, I don't think they'll actually give the name Nemesis Prime. I think he'll just simply be possessed by Dark Energy or maybe he's being controlled. And then people just say, oh god, it's, a, it's like a Nemesis Prime. I don't think it, the Nemesis Prime is an actual character. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but uh, I'm betting... It, there won't be, but uh, either way, just seeing there as we got a look there, more better shot of the redness on his face. Of course, it's only on to the right side, his left side. So, looking at that, it really does look cool. Of course, he's not going to kill Cade and Bumblebee. Maybe he misses just by an inch or something, but uh, don't expect um, them two to die. I mean, they're really important characters, and Bumblebee has a spin off movie, so don't expect any of them really to die at all. Uh, I don't expect Mark Wahlberg to die because I think he's continuing on the series. So, I know it's a shock at first because he's seen it for the first time, but I assure you, they will not die in the movie. Maybe they will, maybe they'll give us a shock, but either way, just really really badass I, i'm really interested of seeing octopus prime and bumblebee fight by looking at the reactions of some people on um, youtube i can tell 
I, I really love reactions and seeing other people's reactions. At least I know I'm not the only one who thinks this is going to be awesome. No matter what you know the critics may say, it's just really good to see the Transformers again. Granted, you know, some people are asking for a reboot, but hey, this is what we're getting, you know. So uh, let's just enjoy it for how it is. So anyway, guys, that's what I got to say about it. Of course, I've seen some of your theories in the comment section below. Some are really interesting. Some of them are way off the books, which I do not believe whatsoever. But hey, um, it's not my place to judge. You guys can give your opinions all you want because it's still really interesting to see what you take from this. So yes, it was just a teaser, but it was kind of a lot to talk about, really. But uh, the one thing I'm just hoping is that there's no Unicron involved, at least give him a tease in the end, because I feel like he won't be the big guy. I feel like the creators will be the big sort of villain in this. Or maybe Nemesis Prime in general, Optimus Prime, maybe he's the cause and or something, I don't know. But uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, for more Transformers news, as most specifically the last night in the future, subscribe here. Goodbye, everyone.